Like and subscribe on the way in the door, people. Uh, today, I'm going to go ahead and touch on this, this topic uh, since a few of my viewers have asked my opinion about this. <clears throat> and uh, I've just been kind of checking out uh, some different channels, checking out what different people had to say about it. And that's this whole LeBron James coming out on the Biogenesis report or being mentioned. Uh, let, let me start here. Let, let, let me say this, because a lot of people uh, I've heard say that, you know, it's strange that LeBron hasn't come out to refute anything, especially since these uh, rumors, allegations have been going on for years. And, uh, you know, I'm the kind of person, if something is nonsense to me, I'm not likely to respond. <laughs> Which is why I don't respond to a lot of you fanboys. This is nonsense. Uh, at least in the comments, you know. <laughs> uh, but no, um, but for somebody who is uh, constantly engaged in social media like LeBron, uh, constantly trying to put his name out there, good or bad, I do think it's strange that he has never responded. Uh, now, the way I feel about it is, uh, you know, to be 100% honest, I don't know. Like, could he be uh, this freak of nature that everybody's saying? Uh, it's not unbelievable because, <laughs> to me, what he's doing is not so freakish. <laughs> I mean, if we're being honest, is is not so freakish. I mean, you know, people talk about, you know, he's 38 and averaging 30. Well, when you're not playing defense, you know, is that really so remarkable? Uh, you know, he clearly doesn't jump as high as he used to. You know, I, I'm i not sure what everybody's seeing when they keep on uh, trying to, to me, overblow what he's doing at this age. Not to mention he's doing it in the easiest era of basketball that we've ever seen. Uh, so, yeah, I don't necessarily uh, lean one way or another as far as whether I believe, you know, those rumors are true or not. You know, I believe they, they could be true. I'll tell you this much. Uh, if they come out to be true, <laughs> LeBron, drops to <laughs> LeBron drops out of the top 50. <laughs> For me, if at any point they turn out to be true, LeBron James drops out of the top 50. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, to, to me what he's doing, you know, is, is not so remarkable as people are making it out. Like I said, he's playing in the easiest era of basketball. Uh, he doesn't play defense anymore. You know, he clearly gets tired. He clearly gets tired nowadays. Um... Which is no excuse, you know, but, you know, it, he visibly does not have the ability to keep it going for most of the game, at least energy-wise. Now, he's always been inconsistent as far as the quality of game he would play. You know, but like I said, if, if it turns out to be true, my goodness, fanboys, everything that you guys have fought for it would be in vain. <laughs> If it turns out to be a true at any point, fanboys, you guys need to go to every YouTuber and apologize. Y'all need to start, start an apology tour if LeBron James is ever found out to be true on those rumors. Uh, because, I mean, first of all, you know, let's uh, talk about the fact that... Uh, the manufactured goat debate between Michael and LeBron, you know, and they love to compare the the numbers. Uh, number one, don't ever talk to me about longevity. Uh, Y'all will get no, um, you. I will not entertain that kind of talk over here. Uh, longevity, I could care less. To me, longevity is something that was made for the benefit of LeBron being in the goat conversation. Uh, and when I say that, I'm not saying longevity doesn't play a part at all. But I mean, the focus that they put on this now has been simply for LeBron's benefit. But even when we're comparing uh, 
per game numbers. It's like, what, LeBron's career average is what, 27 a game? Michael's is 30. You know, I think uh, LeBron averages, what, seven rebounds a game, somewhere around there. Michael averaged, what, five or six uh, assists. LeBron averaged a couple of more assists. And people talk about this, but what they never bring up is when you say Jordan averaged 30 and LeBron averaged 27, people talk about the physicality that Jordan er the Jordan era had. Absolutely true. Uh, but what you also need to talk about is less points were being scored. Less points were available. So Jordan's 30 in today's era is a lot more than 30. And LeBron's 27 in the Jordan era is a lot less than 27. That's what we need to take into consideration. When you talk about his assist, assists, LeBron's assists, take in consideration that what they classified as an assist in Jordan's day was a lot more strict than what they classify as an assist today. When you talk about LeBron being ahead by a rebound or two, Understand that because more points, more shots are being taken today, that more rebounds are available. So this is what they don't talk about. And despite LeBron playing in this era where everything is easier, where stat padding is, uh, where stat padding is much easier to do because uh, the things that qualify uh, are much more lenient, they don't call traveling the same way. They don't call carrying the same way. So if at any point, fanboys, at any point, if it is discovered that these rumors are true, LeBron James drops out of the top 50. So yeah, so I don't, like I said, I don't lean one way or another because I don't feel the same way that a lot of people feel about he's just doing this amazing stuff at this age. To me, he's doing what somebody of his build, uh, not playing defense, not getting back down the court a lot of times, he's doing exactly what somebody should be doing <laughs> who plays like that. <laughs> well, what, what's the big deal here? But uh, anyway, that's all I really got. Like I said, I, I don't lean one way or another because I don't think what he's doing is that amazing. Uh, yes, he, you know, supposedly he spends a million dollars a year keeping his body in sh shape. And, uh, you know, so so it, it is what it is. You know, he spends a million dollars a year keeping his body in shape. He needs to be spending a million dollars a year getting somebody to fill in the gaps in his basketball game. But anyway, that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know a, a lot of you uh, feel a lot more strongly about those rumors, and I can understand that as well. Uh, but like I said, me, I'm I'm pretty neutral on it because to me, I don't see I don't see anything being done that amazing that that would uh, <laughs> make me think that this guy has to be on something. You know, it is it's not that remarkable. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys <laughs> think that the fact that he was mentioned is smoke and where there's smoke, there's fire? Or do you think this is overblown just like a LeBron James game? <laughs> let me know what you think. You guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time. All right.